Hello and welcome back. So today what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to actually work on a first person view game pass, uh, which is kind of interesting just because personally I've never actually seen that on Roblox. Um, and I don't really know if a lot of people actually know how to make it. Um, it's pretty easy. Uh, but personally, like for a while, I honestly didn't even know how to uh, use game passes like scripting wise. Um, but I hope this helps some of you guys out. Uh, if you guys already knew this, then that's awesome. I'm sure you guys, there's a lot of you guys out there that probably already knew this. Uh, I can't even speak that probably already knew this. Um, but for those of you guys that don't know this, uh, hopefully this tutorial helps. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started. And we're going to go to starter player. Press this little arrow. Go down to starter player scripts and press the plus button. From there, we're going to insert the local script. You can rename your local script or just keep it as local script. But for this tutorial, we're going to name it FPV, which is first person view. Then from there, we're going to delete the print hello world. And then we'll go ahead and do local marketplace service service, if I can type, equals game colon get service. That was so stupid. Dude, what is happening? Oh my, why am I trying to type that? Game, get service. Sorry about that. Marketplace service, local. And then we're going to do um, player equals uh, game dot players dot local player. And then we're going to do local uh, pass ID equals. And then we'll paste in our game pass ID. And then here, let me go ahead and make a note here for you guys. Uh... Actually, let me, I was going to put it in all caps, but never mind. Game pass ID here. Uh, so hopefully if you guys do um, end up just getting the script itself, that you guys could just um, kind of fill in the blanks in a sense. Uh, if you guys don't really know how to script too much, but you guys do want to still use this as a game pass. Um but I wouldn't charge a lot for this game pass if you guys do use this. Um, personally, whenever I make this, I only charge like five Robux just because the first person view doesn't really matter too, too much. Um, and it's, I make it more of a donation pass than anything. And I even put that in the description of the game pass uh, that, it, that it's more of a donation game pass, but you do get obviously first person. So you do kind of get something for it, but eh, I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and do has pass equals and then we're going to do marketplace service colon and then we're going to do uh user owns game pass async and then player dot user id colon and then we're going to do pass id uh you can also just use your game pass id here and uh delete all this but i think it looks a little bit more clean this way um but anyways the user own game uh own owns game pass async is uh like it's understanding that okay this person actually owns the game pass um so basically what does it want me to do and is, is how i think of it um but anyways let's go ahead and do if player dot user id and has pass then player dot camera minimum zoom distance equals uh zero which is going to be our uh first person view so uh change to any size uh if you guys want to change it to like um so here let me add another little note zero equals first person view that way you guys kind of can see i guess um so anything higher than zero is obviously not going to be in first person anymore um so like if you do one you'll probably be pretty much inside your body uh but you can kind of see i think like your hair and stuff i've never actually tried it on one but anyways we're gonna do uh player dot camera max zoom distance equals 25 you can obviously change that to anything here as well uh so we'll do change to any size um so you could change it to anything obviously but um for this tutorial 
uh, we'll just leave it at 25. But I also do like using 25 in most of my games, uh, or not really games, because most of the stuff I work on are projects. Uh, but recently I've been trying to get some games kind of worked on, I guess. Um, just because I've kind of learned a lot more scripting in general. Uh, so I have more confidence to be able to actually make a game that somebody could actually enjoy this time, I guess. But anyways, let's get back to this. I'm sorry I babbled about random shit. So anyways, let's go else if um, has pass, whoops, has pass equals equals false. Then we're going to do player dot camera uh, minimum zoom distance equals five. And then we're going to do player dot camera max zoom distance equals 25. So we'll leave it at 25. Um, and then I guess I'll go ahead and do this uh, again here. Change to any size. And then um, I'm going to put FPV equals zero. That way it kind of understands it, hopefully. So basically, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, 13 lines of code. We'll press play. Hopefully we don't get any error codes. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get any errors, so we can zoom out. As you guys can see, this is our max zoom distance. Um, don't forget to follow my profile as well. Uh, I think I have like 146 followers or something, but uh, I really do appreciate it if you guys would follow my profile as well. Um, but anyways, so let's go ahead and try to zoom in now. And as you guys can see, we go in first person now. But let me zoom out real quick. Let me stop this. And then let me go find a random game pass that I don't own uh, and test it to make sure that um, this will work. Because if you put, actually, can you put a zero? Will it let me? Last time it gave me an error. Yeah, no, it won't. Okay. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and go look for a game pass real quick. And then I'll go, uh, well, not go. I'll be right back. All right, and now we're back. So what we can do now is we'll go to first person back to our script and we'll insert a random game pass. I don't own this game pass. So now whenever we press play, we shouldn't get any errors. Uh, we should still have 25. And as you guys can see, we can't zoom past first or into the first person. So it does work. Um, but like I said, there's not too too much use to this. Um, but I do hope this has helped you guys out for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out. Uh, and I do hope you guys are enjoying my scripting tutorials. Definitely, definitely. I can't even talk. I'm so sorry about that. Definitely let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see more uh, scripting tutorials or what type of scripting tutorials and so on and so forth. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to share with all your friends, family, and hippos. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace.